In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for SO4 2 minus. This is the sulfate ion. We'll also look at resonance and molecular geometry. So first thing we need to do, we need to count the valence electrons up for the sulfate ion. So we have our periodic table here, each group arranged by the number of valence electrons. So we go over to sulfur, which is right here, group 16, sometimes called 6A. That has six valence electrons, so six for the sulfur. And there's oxygen, that also has six. So we have six for the oxygen, and we have four oxygen atoms. We also have to add this two minus in. That means we have two extra valence electrons. So we'll say plus two there. And the total for SO4 two minus, the valence electrons, we have 32 total valence electrons for the SO4 two minus Lewis structure. So we'll start by putting the least electronegative element in the center. That's gonna be the sulfur. Put the sulfur in the center, and then we'll put four oxygen atoms around it. Next, we'll put a pair of electrons between atoms, and that's gonna form our chemical bond between the sulfur and the oxygen atoms. At this point, we've used eight valence electrons. We have 32. So let's complete the octets on each of the oxygen atoms till we've used 32 valence electrons. So at this point, we've used all 32 valence electrons for the SO4 two minus Lewis structure. Each oxygen atom, that has eight valence electrons. So each oxygen has an octet. The sulfur in the center, that has an octet as well. So this is a pretty good Lewis structure for SO4 two minus. Let's put brackets around it and that negative sign out there since it is an ion. Then we'll put a two minus out there to show the ionic charge. The difficulty with this Lewis structure for the sulfate ion is that our formal charges aren't quite what we'd like them to be. So I'm gonna write the formal charges in. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video to help you do that. So when you look at the formal charges, each oxygen has a formal charge of minus one. The sulfur in the center, plus two. So we'd like these to be as close to zero while still having the ionic charge matching this two minus up here. So we can share electrons like this here, and then this pair here, for instance. And now we still have minus one and minus one. That gives us the two minus, the ionic charge here, but everything else is zero. So this really is the best or most favorable, most likely Lewis structure for the SO4 two minus ion. We note that we have single bonds and then these double bonds here. That means we're gonna have resonance. Let's take a look at what the resonance structures for SO4 two minus might look like. So these are the resonance structures for SO4 two minus. The only thing that's different is that the double bond, we put that in different places in each structure. The real structure in real life is an average of these resonance structures. So we end up having each bond being equal in an average of the resonance structures. So we do have resonance and that is important in understanding how SO4 two minus acts chemically. Let's look at molecular geometry and wrap up. So you can imagine this purple here, that'll represent the sulfur and we have two single bonds and two double bonded oxygens. So let's add the single bonds, one, two, and you can see they spread out, be as far away as they can from each other. Let's add the double bonds, still spreading out. And finally, we end up with what's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry. The bond angles are 109.5 degrees. So we have this tetrahedral molecular geometry, really no matter how you look at it. So this is the molecular geometry for SO4 two minus. It's also the electron geometry. We don't have any lone pairs. If we had a lone pair, that would change things, but we don't, so it's tetrahedral. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So back at our Lewis structure, we have that tetrahedral molecular geometry. These four oxygens are all spread out as far as they can be, and there's no lone pairs on the central sulfur, so that makes it tetrahedral. So to wrap up, this is the Lewis structure for SO4 two minus the sulfate ion. We used formal charges to make sure we had the most likely or favorable structure. And then we looked at resonance to see what those bonds actually would look like in real life. And then figured out the molecular geometry and bond angles for SO4 two minus. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.